Good morning. All right. Are you ready for our next batch? So I've been wanting to do this for a while and it just happened to line up. Yesterday we did a big party for my son. His mission farewell and he's leaving for Orlando, Florida for two years to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So yesterday we had tons of people over and I made four big pots. I mean huge like 20 quart, 12 quart. Yeah big huge pots of soup. So this is all the leftovers. Can I just say how awesome freeze dryers are the best because food doesn't go to waste. Um, all these leftovers that normally would take up room in my fridge or, you know, and we sent some home with people like it, there was, we had a ton of people that it fed and we still had lots of leftovers. I made a lot of soup. So, um, I'm going to freeze dry it. Now I might, because it's soup, none of this is pre-frozen because I don't have room in my freezer. So normally I would pre-freeze it, but it's not. So um, that would cut down on the processing time, the freeze dry time but uh, I just don't have room in my freezer. So we'll just do it this way. I know it's gonna take longer. I'm guessing this is gonna be like over 60 hour to run this batch, to freeze dry it. But that's okay. Um, it's, it, we're using it up, it's not going to waste. And the soup, the cool thing about soups when they're freeze dried, they make the perfect to go meal. Cause it, it, it's a whole meal is done. You just add water to the consistency you want. If you want a thick soup, add less water. If you want a thin soup, add more water. And uh, soups usually turn out pretty good. So if you're just experimenting with freeze dried stuff, try some soups, make some homemade soups and freeze dry them. They generally do pretty well in our experience. Um, now the only one of these that we, oh, we've freeze dried two of these in the past. So we, we already know that two of these turn out pretty good. Um, but let me, I wonder if I can, let me see, cause these trays are pretty full um, because I had a lot of soup and I, yeah, so I'm gonna have to be really careful pulling them out. So this top one, oh, look how full that is. Now all the recipes for these are on my blog with the exception of the broccoli, I think. This is tomato basil. So you see all the chunks. This soup actually has a uh, gnocchi, gnocchi, however you pronounce it, and sausage in it and basil, it's and tomato soup. like. So tomato basil with gnocchi and, and uh, sausage, oh, it's so good. That was definitely one of a lot of people's favorites, which is why it's only one tray. But uh, this next one, now this one, I don't have this recipe on the blog yet, and I didn't get any pictures taken of it. So I don't know if I'll put it on the blog. Maybe I should take a picture really quick. Anyhow, this is just cheddar broccoli soup. Um, pretty easy. You pretty much just make a roux, and then uh, you know have your milk, your cream, your chicken broth, add the broccoli, carrots, and onions. It's pretty straightforward. This, so I've got two trays of that. This one, and that was the one I made the 20 quarts in, so there was, that one had the most. This one I've made before, this is on the blog. This is the uh, creamy chicken chili. I've made this nor like, just with normal ingredients, as well as I've made it with all uh, Thrive Life ingredients. That was one of our Thrive Thursday recipes. Um, the Thrive Thursday one with Thrive Life, it's the easiest, quickest soup you can make. It's seriously, it's just a couple of minutes. It's so nice, but it is really good. This was definitely a favorite as well of a lot of people. And so there's really not that many leftovers of that. And then this one, I still have a bunch because this, I actually made this in the roaster, in our turkey roaster. After Thanksgiving, we did, in the roaster, we did a turkey noodle soup. So I, I roast, I, I boiled basically the bones and meat scraps for a good day and a half, and then we made soup. Um, if you've never done that before, I do have a video on my channel that's a turkey, turkey soup, how to make turkey soup from leftover turkey bones and things. Um, it's super easy. It, it And the cool thing is, is you're usually like you're exhausted after making a turkey. Here, let me show you this and then I'll tell you so I can close this. So this is the, the turkey noodle soup and it's pretty thick. So it's kind of like a stew. I like them that way more. Um, and I have more of that. That's probably the one I have the most leftovers in. Uh, this is the last of everything else, but I, I probably have enough to do about two or three more trays of the turkey noodle soup. So I'll probably put that in another batch. Um, but that's that's it, so all the soups. So I'm gonna just double check. Yes, I knew I, I closed my drain valve, just wanna double check. So I'm gonna say not frozen. 
continue. There we go. And I, I turned on the machine as soon as I, because none of these are pre-frozen, as soon as I started putting trays in the freeze dryer, I turned the machine on. It doesn't have to, not like if, if things were pre-frozen, you want the machine on a good half hour or so before you put anything in, because you don't want it to, you're taking stuff out of the freezer to a machine that's not at freezer temperatures yet. So it'll start to kind of defrost. These aren't pre-frozen, so it doesn't matter. So I just turn on the machine once I'm putting trays in and I just let it, it's down to like 40 degrees. And um, just as I was putting trays in, it's cooling down. It's fine. So, um, but the turkey, back to the turkey, uh, super easy. The, the nice thing is usually when you make like a turkey or a ham, you're exhausted and you're kind of done with that meat, right? But you don't wanna waste all the bones and scraps. And so making a soup is awesome because you literally put all the bones and scraps in a big old pot of water and then just let it simmer or let, put it on like one of your lowest settings on your stove or in your crock pot and just let it be for like a day, day and a half. You can even do two days if you want. And it just all, it's gonna pull all that flavor out of the bones. It's gonna tenderize the meat scraps. And then when you're ready, you let it cool, which again could take an hour or two. And like I strain it into my strainer and then let it cool off until you can touch it. And then you separate the bones and the fat skins, whatever, you take that out, throw it away. And the meat you put back into this, into this water now that has all the flavor. And you put your meat in there and then just add whatever vegetables. So easy, it is seriously like the easiest way to make soup. And it's awesome because you're using all those scraps that normally would go in the trash. So you're getting multiple meals out of out of this one turkey or ham or whatever it is um so definitely try that it's, it's a great way to stretch meals if you're on a budget soups you can make you can make a big old pot of soup you can freeze it for multiple meals soups are great and they stretch there's like has it please porridge hot please porridge cold please porridge in the pot nine days old okay there's a reason for that little saying uh, it's kind of funny, but that's that's what people used to do is they would make a lot of soups and stews because it fills you up and it would cover a lot of meals very cheap. So um, there's your little budget turkey soup lesson for the day you didn't ask for, but there it is. Um, so anyhow, got this going. I'm expecting it to be about 60 hours because they're all pretty liquidy and they weren't pre-frozen. So we'll see. All right, here we are. 75 hours. I did not add any extra dry time to this. So yeah, 75 hours. This did end a little bit ago, but the timer stops once it stops freeze drying. So let me go ahead and open it up and we'll check. I'm pretty confident that uh, everything is dry after 70, almost 76 hours. Yeah, that was long. I mean, I knew it would take a while because of the soups, but holy moly, that was a long time. So let's look. So we have our tomato basil. Pulling good. It's, I mean, it pulls off good. I just want to, anytime you have thick stuff, you want to break it and check in the middle. So that all looks pretty dry. So we're looking good there. This is the chicken cheddar broccoli. I don't feel any ice crystals. This one seems a lot more airy, not as a dense of a soup as the tomato one. This is the same, the cheddar broccoli, I'm sure it's the same. And then this one is our white chicken chili. Oh yeah, super flaky. And this one was pretty thin in the pan. There wasn't as much of that soup. And this is our turkey noodle, which, Seems pretty, pretty good. Yay! All right, well, I'm gonna bag them up. Okay, so now we're going to review our soups. So, uh, one of these we had two trays of, so that's why there's only four of them. So that's our white chicken chili, and I think this is the turkey. That's the turkey noodle with vegetables. This one is, I think, cream of broccoli. And then this is the tomato basil with gnocchi. I'm gonna do that one. I'll add the hot water to that one first. You know what would be helpful? Okay. You just go back to the bags. Well, yeah, but when I put them in the bags, I didn't expect it to take this long to review them. That's my fault. Yes, it is. Oh. 
they're soups. So if we add too much water, they're just runny they're soup, right? runny soup, yep, pretty much. Okay. So we'll just add a little bit of water in each. I won't add as much as this in this one. Yeah. Okay, I'll start more. mixing these up. Yeah. Because this water is very, very hot. The hotter the water, you're not even in the video. Oh, hello. Hello. Ah, that's cool. The hotter the water, the faster they rehydrate. Yeah, like this is already ready. Is it? Pretty much. Okay. This one almost looks like stuffing more than... That's broccoli for sure. Yeah. So this one I can see the beans, so I can tell it's that white chicken tail. And the tomato soup is obvious. It's these other two that I'm... Ooh, that is warm. Oh, the last one. The last one, by process of, elim of elimination, has to be the turkey. Because that was the other soup we did. Did I add so, too much water? No, but I mean, it just rehydrates really well. Yeah. You can tell. Well, this one's super fast. That chili, yeah, but you have the beans might take a minute. True. This one, I think, might need a little more water. Ooh, you can smell that turkey. This is definitely... And the turkey was what, a turkey noodle? Yeah, it was like turkey noodles and vegetables. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It went pretty mushy. Yeah. But that's... Because like you can't really quite make out the In noodles. Terms of the noodles, they just kind of... It kind of just... It made a mush. Oh, no, it wasn't noodles. It was dumplings. Was it turkey and dumplings? No, I don't think we did dumplings on this one. That was another time? Yeah. Okay, so you want to do the tomato first? Sure. So this tomato soup, and you can get all the recipes for these soups in um, at my 188 blog, so it's all linked below in the video description. But this one is the tomato basil soup with um, gnocchi and sausage. Gnocchi. 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 No, no, no. Isn't that was on the no 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 it's like Mork and Mindy or something no 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 that was that nanu nanu oh what was that it was like an old mm -hmm. show no 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 the uh, gnocchi's not quite hydrated hydrated to the center but flavor we maintain flavor it's a good soup. my goodness it's a really good soup so you just have like a little crunchy gnocchi sausage? I'm gonna try the sausage here and see and you can see. That's a big piece of That's sausage. Not all the sausage is so that big. Guessing it's probably not, but. Mm. Does it rehydrate? Oh, real good flavor. Oh. Almost rehydrated. Maybe another two minutes and this whole thing would be good. Nice. Nice. So these, I did some. I froze mm. them in like muffin go. tins. So they were like little hockey puck soups mm -hmm. for individual servings. But then. We can only fit two in a bag, and Kenzie took some to school, mm -hmm. and she's like, it's not enough for one, like, because it really wasn't, didn't make that much. Yeah. All right. So it'd be more of a snack than a Chicken meal. and broccoli. And this was a, uh, this was a new recipe that I had made that day. I had never tried that recipe, but it had, uh, it, it, it was, it was okay. It wasn't as good as I had hoped, but. So good. Flavor's all there. The texture is. It's like it looks baby grainy, food, right? grainy, grainy baby food. Grainy and mushy. Yeah, but the, the flavor's one. all there. I mean, if you're oh, if you're good. hungry, my thumb hurts. That's good. Thumb um, hurts. yeah, my nail. Mm. So it hurts to use my thumb. Um, this one I think we've done before, haven't we? Possibly. The white chicken chili. I'm pretty oh, yeah, sure yeah, we have. Yeah. And that That's one, right. if I remember right, it goes, I yeah, show the beans and stuff. This one, so it's got a couple different types of beans in it and stuff. Because remember, we were surprised the beans rehydrated so fast. Are the mm. beans hydrated? No? A little more water maybe because it's still dry. But Soupy? Okay. Flavor. Flavor's there. Nice. These are, these soups, I'm like sold on these. With, mm -hmm. Okay, you gotta open that. Just add water, like, but it's a homemade from scratch soup. That you just add water to and so hiking camping stuff like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it'd be so easy Ooh, camping when it's nice and you cold. would uh definitely compete with some of the major markets out there on the oh yeah freeze-dried dehydrated stuff which one? Oh yeah that's the turkey one huh mm -hmm. is it turkey noodles. it is noodles okay 
Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Flavors there in all of them. Very distinct, very so, um, yummy. All the They're soups really good. are good? Mm-hmm. Okay. They were good to go. So, if you don't mind texture, like I say, some of them well, mushed only, up a bit. Well, that's, but they're soups. But you can kind of tell on that the broccoli cheddar, it looks separated. Like it looks a little grainy. Did it, it taste cream grainy? In there? A little bit. It could be just, yeah. But I kind of, like I said, that was the first time I made that soup, and I wasn't super impressed because I kind of mm -hmm. felt like it was like that even fresh. So. But definitely as a. Um, shelf stable food a whole meal something you're looking for and it's like i say soup you uh -huh. add more water it becomes more soup so texture really isn't a thing yeah other than the broccoli you really don't want you know mushy broccoli but yeah flavors are wonderful yeah well and that's the cool thing the soups are so easy to make and like every time i do a every time we do a um turkey or a um ham or chicken we take all the bones, fat, scraps, and I'll make a big soup with it. And it's just, it is, it's like the poor man's food because you have, like for turkey, you have the turkey dinner and then you take the bones and stuff and you make a turkey soup. And that soup, you can make a huge old pot of soup. I have like my 20 quart pot. Well, well yeah, I was gonna say it's not clean, but our crock pot is it, Well, large. it's an eight quart crock pot, but like, and that's, I, I don't do the turkey in that because turkey's too big, mm -hmm. but I do the ham and stuff. Like it makes eight quarts for like a ham. But you set it overnight, so, you'll leave it. And, so easy. Yeah. So easy. And there's, there's actually a tutorial video on my channel here that shows you step-by-step step how to do a turkey soup from the bones. So that is on there. It's the same concept for any type of meat bones. You do the same thing. You have like boil the, the bones for a day and then separate the bones and fat from the good part the stock and the meat and then make your soup like super easy super easy it's a poor man's meal for a week <laughs> feed you for a week so okay awesome so all the soups are good yay thank you